Okay, students, uh, in the last video, we came to know about the basics of file handling. Today, we are going to learn the difference between read, read line, and read lines. Okay, let's begin. So, as we discussed earlier, there are three functions read, read line, and read lines. Okay, let's first discuss about what read function is. As it is written here, it reads all the data of file. Okay, suppose I write a program uh, f1 equals to open and then the name of the file which I am going to read in the read mode. Okay, then as you know, okay, uh, let's first discuss about this f1. As you know, this is file handler. Okay, we have discussed about this in the last video. What file handler is doing here? We have connected this file handler to this file students.txt with the help of this open function okay so open function is opening a file which we are going to read in this program okay in which mode read mode read mode means we can only read the data of this file we are not able to write anything in this file now okay so st1 equals to this st1 is identifier as we have discussed earlier equals to f1 dot read here what we have done we have used read function okay so this is the function of this file handler okay so file handler dot read so it is going to read the data of the file which is connected to f1 which file is connected to f1 student dot txt okay let's see what is there in student dot txt okay so this is the data of student.txt hello students how are you i hope you all are doing well and so on okay so this is going to read all this data and going to store in st1 this identifier and then we are going to print it print st1 okay let's do it practically okay so this is Okay, so uh, what we have done, we have written a program over here. F1 equals to op uh, open this uh, function I have used, open function, as you know, we have to open the uh, file first. And here, what we have done, we have used absolute path. Okay, if you uh, don't know what is the difference between absolute and relative, please go to my last video. Okay, so student.txt, we are going to uh, read this file and in which mode read mode it means we, we can only read this file okay so f1 dot read here again we have used the same uh, read function okay so it will read all the data of student dot txt and will store in st1 and print st1 let's run this program okay see this is the output whatever data is saved in student dot txt student.txt it is there as an output okay so what we have done we have saved all the data in st1 and then we have print that data so this is what read function does okay read function will read all the data of the file and will store in any identifier okay let's continue okay so there is uh, a little bit changes here in this program f1 equals to open again we have uh, uh, opened the same file but here f1 dot read we have given an argument over here okay so inside read function what we have written 25 so what it is going to do it is going to read first 25 bytes or you can say first 25 characters of the file so what are the first 25 characters h e l l o means 1 2 3 4 5 then space 6 it will count space also 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and so on so it will fetch the first 25 characters and it will store in st1 and then it is going to print st1 let's do it okay so i'm going to write 25 here now i'm going to print it sorry i'm going to run it So here you are. You can count it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. You will have to count uh, space also. Space is also a byte. Okay. Now, 
so what we have done so far we have understood the working of read function okay next come to the next read line as it is written it will read the first line okay what read line function does it reads the first line of any file okay the file you are going to open in your program it will read the first line of that file or line by line data okay so we will discuss about this later on okay let's first write a program okay so here in this program again the same we have opened this file student.txt and here instead of read what we have written read line so we are going to use this function read line function what will this function do it will read the first line so it is going to read hello students how are you only the first line and it is going to store this line in st1 and then print it okay what will be the output the output will be hello students how are you let's do it okay so instead of read here i'm going to write read line okay again what i, I have written in uh, i wrote in capital you cannot write in capital because uh, this is case sensitive language so you have to take care of this okay read line click on run and let's see the output so this is the output hello students how are you the first line it has read okay so this is the function of read line again if i am going to write like this instead of read line only read line what i did i wrote it as an argument over here okay so what it is going to do it will read the first eight characters of the first line okay one two three four five six seven eight so up to st up to t it is going to read okay let's do it so if i write eight here sorry if i write eight here and then if i print or if i run it so it is going to read up to s t c okay so this will be the output okay i hope you understand what read line is okay so one thing also written here line by line data of the file line by line means we are going to do it suppose again i write here st2 equals to f1 dot read line and then print print st2 see i'm going to run this then i'm going to explain you see here it has read uh two lines first two lines what is what is the first line of the student.txt hello students how are you second line i hope you all are doing well so what we did in the first statement over here f1 dot read line the first statement this statement read the first line and we printed this and then when i am going to use the same function once again read line next time so it will read the next line okay so and it read the next line and is stored in st2 and then it prints st2 over here i hope you all are doing well so this is the second line okay so if you want to read the third line again you will be using st3 f1 dot read line and print st3 okay we can do this with the help of loop also later on we are going to do that i hope you understand this okay third one is read lines so read lines it reads all the lines and convert the file into a list okay let's talk about list what list is you must know you should know what list list one this is the uh, this is the name given to list equals to a list always as you know it starts with the square bracket okay inside list all list items are uh, enclosed in single quotation or double quotation okay like this and then comma separated by comma then another list item usa then comma australia china and then this is the bracket okay so this is the format of the list okay what we are going to do is again we have opened the same file student.txt instead of read line we have used read lines okay so what is the definition it reads all lines and convert the file into a list see this is the file hello students how are you first line second line i hope you all are doing well third line 
and so on okay what we did we opened this file then f1 dot read lines with the help of read lines we uh, read the data of student dot txt again in read mode as we have studied earlier and we stored the data in st1 but now read lines function fetches the data in which form into a list in the form of a list see the output when i print this st1 see it becomes a list see it uh, it uh, uh, starts with a bracket square bracket then the first line it becomes the first item of the list hello students how are you and then slash n what is this slash n this slash n is the enter we uh, did at the time of writing this file okay so it will be here then the second line as then it is separated by comma okay there is comma here then i hope you all are doing well i hope you all are doing well second line then slash n again this enter okay and then slash n this slash n okay then uh, separated by comma then the third line will be the third data item of the list and so on okay let's do it suppose sorry instead of read line what i do read lines okay i, I will have to erase this okay now i am going to run this program see this is the output it has become a list all the data of the file uh, or all the lines of the file has become have become the data items of the list okay so i hope you understand the difference between read read line and read lines so students this is all for this video meet you in the next video thank you